Well, a panel of experts say major reforms on, of the global health system are needed if the world is to avoid a repeat of the Ebola epidemic that swept across West Africa in 2014 and early 2015. The experts convened by the Harvard Global Health Institute and the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine say the slow response cost thousands of lives. Henry Ridgewell has more from London. More than 11,000 people died as the Ebola virus spread across Liberia, Guinea and Sierra Leone with minor outbreaks in a handful of other African countries. The investigation into the global response describes immense human suffering, fear and chaos and criticizes a lack of political leadership. Professor Peter Piot was part of the team that discovered the Ebola virus in what was then Zaire in 1976. He chaired the report into the latest outbreak. We need to support those countries that are most vulnerable to uh, epidemics to build their capacity so that they can diagnose locally and promptly and also uh, organize the response through health education and whatever measures have to be uh, put in place. The report says the biggest single failure was the World Health Organization's delay in sounding the alarm about the outbreak. We were simply far too slow to respond to this Ebola crisis and as a result many people died unnecessarily that could have been prevented. That means a better equipped, a more efficient and more responsive WHO, World Health Organization, and also a system that brings a more accountability since the outbreak, promising vaccines have been developed against Ebola. Piat says thousands of lives could have been saved with earlier investment. We need a better uh, system to develop new vaccines, new drugs, new diagnostics, where there is no market incentive. Last month, the three worst affected countries celebrated the first week. None of them experienced any new infections. But in recent days, there have been several new cases in Liberia. We have discovered now, which is something we didn't know, that people, men, can excrete the virus in their seminal fluid for six, seven months, um, that there may be uh, persistence of the virus in the body, and so all that is very new. Piot says those new developments make the need for reforms even more urgent to prevent a future pandemic. Henry Ridgewell for VUA News, London.